all the years when I was sending out data, I mean, I, I had a bibliography of a couple of hundred publications of people that used the cards even back when it wasn't an active program, people would, would request either they'd be working on a particular species and I would just send them all the cards for a species. Otherwise, if somebody was coming and wanted to do something that just wasn't feasible to copy, then we'd have people come visit. And sometimes we'd have people come for two weeks and they'd come every day and pour through the cards and then transcribe what they needed to off of the cards. Yeah, just the potential for, for researchers to have access to that data is, is, is phenomenal. All of this data in the Nestwatch database means it's all been, um, it's all categorized the same way. You know, you can compare and analyze the data with even the, the current data that's being collected on our website. So um, it's definitely going to be really, really helpful to researchers. Long-term studies, whether they're conducted by citizen scientists or individual scientists or both, are so vital to understanding the pulse of the planet and how it's changing over time. You can always start up a new project and go out and collect new data, um, but you don't have anything historic to compare it with, right? And, and the fact that these mass record cards are from a large spatial area all across North America mostly, and extend back to the 1960s, you know, it's really nice to have that baseline to look back to as we look forward and ask new questions.